are in position uh, to define this uh, Poisson process. First of all, it's a counting process. Its variable is the time. Uh, and uh, uh, this one is uh, number of events uh, occurred up to time t. And uh, we say um, this counting process is a Poisson process with um, rate lambda if the following is true. The first one is uh, and zero is zero. It means a uh, uh, number of events happened at uh, when we start our clock is no events happens. Uh, second one is of course um, this counting process has independent increment. The third one is uh, it has a stationary increment. And moreover, the increment is of a Poisson distributed random variable. So moreover, n of t plus s subtract n of s, which uh, records um, this is the number of events occurred during um, s up to t plus s. Um, uh, this is a Poisson distributed random variable with rate lambda t, which means uh, this is equivalent of saying this probability that is uh, this equals n, little n, is nothing but uh, e to the minus lambda t to power times lambda t raised to the nth power divided by m factorial for n is 0, 1, etc. And is it, this uh, stationary um, can be interpreted by the following uh, expectations. Why it's called stationary? In that uh, because uh, uh, this one is a Poisson distributor in the variable, then uh, by the expectation of uh, Poisson distributed random variable, the expectation of the number of events occurred during this time interval is nothing but the rate, and the rate is uh, lambda t right here. So this means the average, and this is uh, the average number of events uh, during this time interval. is proportional to the length of the interval. Now we're going to see that uh, some process is 
pretty much related to uh, the exponential distribution we reviewed earlier in previous video. Um, and let's define the following thing. We define uh, T sub n um, as the elapsed time between the n minus first event and the nth event. So this is apparently a sequence. Um, T sub n, for n is, for example, 1. Uh, when n is 1, this is uh, uh, between the 0 of the event. It means uh, um, nothing happens and the, the first event. So basically, when n equals 1, it's uh, from nothing to the first. And when n equals 2, it's from the first event to the second event, etc. And this is a sequence called inter-arrival time. So if we draw something, um, if this is uh, our uh, time t, and uh, um, for example, and if our event happens here, 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 and this is where we start our clock, then at uh, um, this point, of course, uh, we have n0 is 0, zero. and now um, we have, at, let's say uh, this is t1, the n t1 is 1, and here is t2, and n of t2 becomes 2, etc., and uh, n of t3 becomes uh, 3, then uh, these is the time in between, okay? So for example, this is t1, um, this is t1, and this is t2 minus t1, and this is t3 minus t2, and uh, these three numbers can be viewed as like samples for uh, this uh, sequence. And by the way, uh, this sequence is a random uh, sequence. So, uh, is a sequence of random numbers. Moreover, uh, it turns out uh, for the Poisson distribution, I'm sorry, for the Poisson process, which satisfy uh, these uh, one, uh, two, and three uh, property, then, this uh, inter-arrival times, this sequence is of uh, exponential distribution. So here comes our first proposition. Let's say this is our proposition five. The inter-arrival time, this uh, sequence, first of all, they are independent. Uh, this is very uh, easy to understand because of the independent increment requirement for Poisson process. Secondly, they are identically distributed. While this is less obvious, but uh, intuitively this is true because of this uh, stationary increment assumption. Um, exponential uh, random variables with rate uh, lambda 
or say uh, the mean is 1 over lambda. After we define um, this interarrival time, we can then define another uh, random variable. This is for the waiting time, which is S sub n. of the uh, nth event is then def uh, defined by we sum up the interval time of these uh, n events and we get uh, um, the waiting time and the PDF of waiting time is pretty straightforward to compute so here um, it can be computed as a following, and this is a gamma distribution uh, with parameter n and the lambda. Uh, the proof of this is pretty straightforward. So here I'll just uh, outline. Uh, the reason is because we simply buy a mathematical induction uh, because S n is nothing but uh, S n minus one plus T sub n, and here we assume n is greater than or equal to um, Then here we simply apply uh, the mathematical induction. We apply the uh, induction hypothesis. This is nothing but then uh, the integral from zero to infinity. Um, this convolution, because uh, right here we have the sum, we simply apply convolution. And now this is nothing but. Uh, because uh, for an exponential distribution, T sub n, um, the PDF is uh, greater than zero, is non-zero only for input um, T minus S is greater than zero. This means the variable we're integrating, which is S is less than T, less than or equal to T. And this becomes uh, lambda times e to the minus lambda t minus s's power times lambda um, minus lambda s's power and then this is lambda s raised to the m minus second power divided by m minus 2 factorial and this is uh, ds So if we evaluate this, first of all, we notice that uh, we have a plus lambda times s factor here, and we have a minus e to the minus lambda s factor here, so they got canceled. And what we have here is uh, integration of lambda square e to the minus lambda t and lambda s m minus 2 and m minus 2 factorial ds and here we simply uh, use substitution we uh, integrate of this lambda s and we'll see that this is the same as And thus, we obtain our uh, PDF of uh, uh, the waiting time of the nth event. Um, next, we want to compute the following conditional probability um, that is given uh, the Poisson process n of t is 1, and what is uh, the probability of t1 is less than s. All right, and let's try to in interpret this uh, probability. Uh, n of t equals one. This means uh, uh, 
up to uh, time t, uh, there is uh, one event occurred. Exactly. One event occurred. And uh, um, then we are simply we're computing uh, what is the probability of the event occur time is less than s. So we're compute the probability of of the event occurring time is less than s. All right. And now we're going to apply. First, we apply the conditional uh, probability definition. This is the same as uh, t1 is less than s, and n of t is 1 divided by the probability of uh, n of t is 1. And now to think about this, um, we can convert the top using the following. So let me draw a uh, time diagram here. And think about um, if this is our s and this is uh, our t. It's because t1 is less than s. And this simply means um, during this time, because t1 is the time the first event occurred, then during this time, there is one event occurred here, all right? And we know that there is totally one event uh, occurred up to time t, because n of t is one, and this simply implies we have no event occurred during um, this uh, s to t, all right? So the above probability can be rewritten as this is nothing but n of s is 1, and uh, n of t subtract n of s is 0 divided by n of t is 1. So now the um, independent increment property is used for Poisson process. Here we simply use independent increment for Poisson process and we can uh, split this probability into a product. And now we simply uh, make use of uh, um, the definition, uh, the last definition of uh, Poisson process, which is uh, um, it's of uh, Poisson distributed random variable. So, for example, um, right here, uh, this one is a Poisson distributed random variable uh, with n equals 1. Okay, so this becomes lambda s e to the minus lambda s divided by 1 factorial, but uh, it's 1. And this term right here is of, so let me uh, add a remark here. So this uh, Poisson distributed random variable with lambda times t uh, minus s, which means that lambda times t minus s power, and lastly, 
Uh, the bottom is nothing but uh, lambda t uh, times e to the minus lambda t. Now if we can simplify this, first we note, notice there is a minus uh, lambda times s here, and here is a plus lambda times s, so they got cancelled. And the top, and of course uh, uh, this uh, lambda got cancelled, and what happens is uh, the top is nothing but uh, e to the minus uh, lambda t, and actually cancels with this e to the minus lambda t, and the only thing we left is s divided by t, right? And what does this mean if we uh, check back? Um, and uh, um, we have actually s divided by t, and this is actually a CDF um, of a uniform distribution on zero t. And the interpretation of this is actually pretty straightforward. It means uh, uh, if we know uh, there is one event occurred during this time period from zero to t. Okay, one event occurred up to t. Then the time of this event occurring is uniformly distributed between zero to t. It means it's uh, it's equally likely to like occur in any time between zero to t. Okay. Then this event is so occurring time, which is also um, t sub one, is uh, a time between the zeroth and the first event, is of uniform. distribution between 0 to t. Okay. 